Tango Down. Hello and welcome back everybody, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video I am making another Transformer. You guys really seem to like the last video of a helicopter that could turn into a jet, so today I'm making a two-wheeled land vehicle that could transform into a flying helicopter. Also, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different, I am very sick right now. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have made wheels in this game just alone with no suspension or anything like that but uh, usually they crack and break if you go uh, really high speeds but uh, let's hope that doesn't happen today anyways let's get a three by one now so I'm basically just going throughout the whole list so the sharpest angle second sharpest angle the third to second sharpest angle. I'm not saying that right but you know what I mean um, basically I'm just going down the list of uh, one two three and four length so now that we have that, let's copy it and we'll put it down here. Cool, that looks good. Now we're gonna need some form of flat spot on here. So I'm just gonna be doing a two by one. So essentially now we just have a quarter of a circle or I guess a quarter of this wheel. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's delete that block because we don't need two of them. And now we just bring this up and copy this on the bottom. But of course, before I attach anything, I have to delete at least uh, these two, just so it's a uh, perfect circle. Oh, there we go. Now for lift, uh, I'm going to go with these guys here. These are just the newer kind of large propellers. I think these came out with the airborne update, but let's go up. Um, I don't care if it's weaving through. I honestly think that that would be uh, that'd be pretty cool. So there's that. Uh, we'll bring this one down, and I'm just going to copy these and then flip them. And look at this. Look at how cool this is gonna look. Yeah, that's sweet. But we're gonna need an attachment point in the center so this whole thing could be spinning. You know, like a like a giant wheel. So I'm gonna copy this one and bring this one down. That also looks really cool too. It almost looks like a peace sign. That's pretty sweet. Okay, and now for the back, I'm going to go extremely simple and just add these little one by twos, two by ones, whatever you wanna call it, on the backs of all of these. All right, so now let's add these guys here. We're gonna just go like this, like this. Now I wanna do more of like a fan style like blade angle if that makes sense with these metal bars here so i'm going to copy this and ooh okay now that i'm looking at it i don't know if i like that shape it went from a peace sign to a hidden um yeah no i'll just go ahead and double these up how about how about that all right although it will be a little bit heavier with these extra pipe pieces it will uh it will be keeping the piece all right now that we got that let me go ahead and delete this center piece here i'm going to add a helicopter engine flip it around like that speed i think i'm just going to keep it at five just because we can't have this thing spinning too fast but we'll test it out later and see which speed works the best anyways let me get some hinges i'll go ahead and flip these up i'll keep the angle at 30 but the button will just be e and on toggle now i'll just do these little two by what are these two by two slopes all right that's looking cool now i'm just going to go ahead and copy it again but i of course need to flip it now for the inside i'm going to go with the space fighter cockpit just because i think it'll look cool like this uh, I just like the shape of it and I think it'll work good with the uh, little roundness that I'm going to be adding on the bottom. Speaking of roundness, I'm going to go ahead and grab these cool little rounded bits. I feel like no one ever uses these just because it's kind of hard to use. But we got that, so now let me go like this. And I'm going to be doing almost the same thing like the wheels. I'm going to get this sharp angle, then I'm going to get this 2x2. Two two. But instead of going for a wedge of a 3x1, I'm going to do a wedge of a 4x1. I just feel like I'm going to need a lot more room so anyways let's grab this let's grab these and we'll copy it on this side now I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these pieces exactly and the reason for that is is because if we look for this little rounded one by two it just works perfect with this cockpit so yeah let's go ahead and extend this out back here of course for cosmetic reasons add a cool little thruster because it's perfectly flush with this I need to grab this middle piece here let me deselect those I'll go ahead and scoot this so it's somewhat centered now that we have that I actually realized that these can't be the only pieces that are 
bending, we're going to need the inside here that's actually connected to the frame to also have hinges. So now that we have this space, let's go ahead and add these hinges. So I will flip it and flip it, bring it down. And with this, I'm going to just put the angle on 90, the E control and take off the other one and just copy it and do the same thing on this side. Now let me connect these and we'll do a quick little test here. Uh, I forgot that I need gyro stabilizers, but it's okay. Let's just see the shape of it and see if it'll work. Um, the angle of them is a little odd. Wait, why didn't these change to 90? I'm so confused. Okay, 90. Is it going to work now? Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I mean, yes, but no, that's not really what I'm going for. We'll do 65. Now let's test it. Oh yeah. Perfect. Look at that. That is actually really cool looking. All right. Well, now that I know that that all works and it all connects, let's go ahead and add some more of the functional parts. So of course we're going to need steering. That is uh, that is for sure. And for this, I'll put the control at five and A and D looks correct to me. But of course we really need some gyro stabilizers in here so let me add that i will put it here and here put the controls all the way up and just while flying i'm going to have one that is on uh this this weird i don't know what access that is but basically it's going to act like a vertical stabilizer so uh yeah when we transform oh boy oh boy anyways when we transform it won't want to tip left and right because clearly we have a lot of weight distribution that is on well the left and right. So now that we have that in check, I think we're pretty much done. I just need to add some forward thrust. And then of course I need to make sure that these are all on space. Yeah, 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 that's good. But anyways, I will be back once I just fill this up with some thrusters and of course put some panels on it so it looks nice and pretty. And then I could finally test this thing out. All right, you guys, I am all done. And honestly, I am very surprised that this thing is not exploding. So let me go ahead and spawn this in. If you guys look right here I added some of uh, the friction pads the friction pads are actually really helpful I didn't think that they would do all that much when it comes to the uh, slamming on the ground also because it's sticking out further than this ramp is so uh, yeah very strange but the uh, structural integrity of it completely changes when I added these on there and of course the suspension helps just a little bit, but not as much as the friction pads. So anyways, let me go ahead and do a quick little test for you guys. As you can see, we can just normally drive around, you know, normal little turns and stuff like that. Um, it's nothing crazy, nothing too special. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's very bumpy, but nothing seems to break. So anyways, let me go ahead and start clicking spacebar for the fans. And then now that that is up to speed, we will click E and look at that, dude. That is so cool. So I actually didn't want them to spin, but now that I look at it, it's very cool watching the entire wheel spin as I'm flying around. So yeah, I love it. It's, it's very cool. It's very simple. But yeah, very different. I don't really see many things like this in Trailmakers, that's for sure. Also the shadow. I mean, the shadow looks a lot cooler than the actual build itself, but uh you know what, I'm just gonna run with it. But uh, yeah, now that we're just flying around, let me go ahead and come in for a landing. Of course, you wanna be going somewhat straight when it comes to uh, landing, but something nice and smooth. There we go, very cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this onto another map. I am very interested to see how this thing will do off of a jump or uh, off of a cliff or something like that. Anyways. Let's go to a different map. All right, here we go. We are on a new map and man, are we gonna send it? Oh my gosh, that wheel just completely exploded. Okay, E, very nice. And turn on those propellers. Nice, man. You know, surprisingly with like a quarter of that wheel gone, this thing flies exactly the same. Also, look at how jiggly those, uh, those little suspension pieces are. All right, that looks like a tight squeeze there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and go through it. Here we go. This thing is very, very wide. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, but we're good. We are good, no way. Oh, well, let's get some money going by going through this little ring here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, very nice. All right, now with a quarter of a wheel, let's go ahead and come in hot and uh, transform. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That, 
That was a very bad landing. You know, as much as I tried to do to make these wheels not explode on impact, I really don't know if there's something to do to fix that. Oh my goodness, dude. Definitely not. I don't think there's any way that I could fix that. I've been going back and forth for uh, quite some time now. Oh, that's so close, man. I just can't quite get up there. So anyways, uh, I just realized I could fly, so let's do that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and transform. Now, what's nice about this thing, although it doesn't have the most insane speed, it does have some pretty nice turning. So let's go ahead and turn. There we go. That was clean, man. That was very cool. But now that we're up here, let's send it down the half pipe. Here we go. Nice and slow. We can't get a nasty jump like that. We don't want that, but you know what? It's okay. And get those helicopter blades or airplane blades up to speed. Yes, and now we can transform and take off. Very nice. That was... That was pretty cool. So the wheels are really just the absolute biggest struggle with this. There's not really any suspension that I could do for it. But anyways, let's try and come in for a clean landing. And then like a good little touch and go. So okay. Yeah, that was... That was absolutely horrible. That was very, very bad. But you know what? We got a ramp here. Oh boy, come on. Just survive. Just survive this jump. There we go. Okay, okay. Now we can take right back off again. I am still just extremely intrigued by this whole design. It, it really does just blow my mind. And in Trail Makers, I'm very surprised that it works. Uh, things like this usually don't do all that great when it comes to like wheels that aren't actual wheels, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, transform. Nice! Look at that, dude. Okay, the wheels were already broken before we landed, okay? I know we broke a little bit of pieces, clearly. But, I mean, we're not, like, completely destroyed where we can't move anymore. I mean, look, like, you know, yeah, it's, it's fine, dude. It's fine. So, clearly, this thing isn't the fastest. It's not the most maneuverable. And of course, it's not the most resilient. But that does not mean that I could try to make it all of those things. So if you guys want to see me improve this in any way, make sure to leave a comment down below. But for the meantime, I'm going to try and make a nice clean landing to finish off the video. You know what? It's still, uh, it's still capable of driving and of course flying. So I'm just going to say that was a good landing. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any cool ideas like this one, make sure to leave a comment down below. As always, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.